float is so nice. All right, man. So I wanted to speak on this uh, topic real brief because I've been seeing it all over the, the net in regards to reparations and, you know, the FBA comments or whatnot. Now, granted, I just want to put this out there as a disclaimer. I'm not a political type of cat. I used to be into politics at one point in time. But right now, with the with the way society is going, I'm kind of like, I'm more in the cut, you know. I, I dib and dab as far as just hearing things and taking what I need to, taking the information that I need to better my situation and in my life and then keep things afloat, especially as an entrepreneur. So, I, I, I believe... Hypothetically, if we did have reparations, black people, all that, I, as much as people might claim that there's going to be a, a significant change in a positive way, I don't think so. You know, you got to understand most of us really don't come from much when it comes to, uh, you know, come from wealthy homes or what's the word? Most of us work for our bread, right? So I think as soon as we get money, we blow it. I think they say they say with black folks or minorities specifically, uh, the U.S. dollar circulates what I think uh, every six hours, and then for people that are non-minorities, you know, their money circulates much longer. I think within a two-week span. So you get what I'm saying. And again, I, this is not to knock anybody at all uh, when it comes to their situations because you never know what people are up against as far as their living situations financially. So I could understand. I understand it from both perspectives, but me being as an entrepreneur, as somebody that's been hustling my whole life, um, at the end of the day, you know, at least in this country, there's opportunities. And even if you don't have opportunities coming your way, you just got to find a way to create opportunities for yourself and whomever you're with, whether you have a significant other, you have kids or whatnot. So I'm just really big on independency. So that's probably why my viewpoint on reparations would be different from those that are, quote unquote, dependent on the government or vice versa you know what i'm saying but i just think it could cause more good than it could be a benefit but i just just knowing how black people how we operate is just not gonna last at all it's just as soon as you get the bread as soon as that shit is gone and again also too i think a lot of us um the key, the key, what's the, what's that slogan? The information, when you have information, it changes your situation. So a lot of people don't, don't understand or know the value of information and how information, the information that you, you do uh, receive, how it could really change your financial situation. So I think that also plays a fact, a factor as well as lack of information. But it takes two, right? It takes somebody to want to learn and somebody that's willing to do what it takes to to re, to get the information, if that makes any sense. So I know I'm saying a whole lot, but I just thought it was an interesting take because I've been seeing it all over the internet as of late when it comes to uh, reparations. And, you know, I know the political, you know, the, uh, the presidential election is coming in. I mean, we, we damn near September right now, September... This is the last week of August, so September 1st, I think, is Saturday or Sunday. So we're damn near, like, two months away from presidential elections. So this is, like, my little, <clears throat> little insight of how I, how I view the way the government is shaping. And I rarely speak on this because I know it might start some small type of controversy, but in a healthy way, you know, it's, I'm always intrigued in hearing other people's opinions. Uh, obviously, smart people, people that I think that know what they're talking about, obviously. So, but, um, yeah, feel free to comment down. And then as far as the FBA thing, that's another thing, too, and it kind of goes hand in hand. Look, I'll come from a, 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 I would be considered a first, a first generation I come from a, a immigrant household, so I would technically be like the first generation of an immigrant household, right? So 
you know, I'm not going to get into details, but just seeing how hard my parents work to, uh, you know, have for me and my siblings, my sister, for, to say the least, to have a, a, a strong upbringing in regards to, you know, living situations and all that. You know, all I'm saying is that I see that people that come from third world countries or that are not American, you know, they're immigrants or whatnot, they come in, they they uh they come in for opportunities to better their situation for their families, for themselves and for their families, and they make a way for themselves. They don't make any excuses. And then you got Americans, I'm not saying all, there are Americans here that don't take advantage of what's given out here. Because if you do happen to travel and go to different countries, you really see like the hoods here compared to other countries, there's no comparisons. So with that being said, there's no excuses and whatever you're going through to make your dreams a reality or whatever you're trying to pursue come true. So that's where kind of, you know, the conversations of the whole you know, FBA and reparations kind of align with, with one another, right? But um, neither here or there. I just wanted to speak on that, you know, just talk my talk. Uh, and I would love to hear y'all speak on what y'all think in the comments, man. So it's a healthy conversation. It's nothing. It's not no argument, no, no back and forth or whatever. You know, I just figured, let me just throw that out there. Um... Because I do pay attention, and, and as I said earlier uh, in this video, I am an entrepreneur, so, you know, it's important for me to uh, see everything from all angles, and, yeah. So, anyway, uh, comment, like, tell a friend to tell a friend, road to 1K, um... And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to catch you on the next video. I'm going to try to drop something, another video today. Excuse me. Um, so yeah. But I'm going to catch y'all though. Y'all stay safe. One.